welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Karina and in today's video I am going to show you how I do my everyday five minutes stay at home skincare and makeup routine and most of you know that I am a full-time content creator and even though I work from home I need to look presentable at all times so I do a little skincare and makeup almost every single morning so that I can look good and feel good about myself without putting in too much time or without putting in too much efforts or loading on a lot of makeup um, so it's not going to be a very elaborate skincare and makeup routine but a real honest uh, skincare and makeup routine that I do every single day so let's get started okay so I've cleansed my face and now I'm gonna move on to toner so I use any toner depending on how my skin is feeling sometimes it's just simple rose water and during night I use niacinamide and during the day it's usually green tea toner but it really depends we'll just wait for this to dry up so now i'm going to move on to serum again uh, what serum i'm using completely depends on how my skin is feeling and usually i just match it with the uh, toner that i'm using like if i'm using a green tea toner i would go for a green tea uh, serum otherwise i just use vitamin c so i'm just pushing this serum into my skin so that it's all hydrated nicely so normally i would just wait for a couple of minutes to allow the serum to seep in properly into the skin and get absorbed before i move on to the next step which is moisturizing so we're just going to wait for a couple of minutes until then i'm going to moisturize my lips and i'm just using a sheer lip oil for that okay i feel so much better because my lips feel so dry i drink lots of coffee and lots of tea every single day so i need this extra hydration okay so i recently started hydrating my under eyes and realized how important it is to do that and how much of a difference it makes in the makeup application and otherwise so i've recently started using um this product from Alps goodness it is their caffeine hyaluronic acid and vitamin e under eye gel so this is what it looks like it comes with this cooling roll-on applicator which makes the whole application process really easy and um, mess-free and it also massages the under eye area and has such a nice cooling effect so it's very relaxing and relieves stress um, especially for someone like me who has such a high screen time I mean I'm either on the phone or working on the laptop so my eyes literally hurt and they get so stressed and feel tired so this is like my pick me up product for my eyes and i would normally reapply this product two to three times a day or whenever i feel like it because it instantly you know refreshes me and it is so lightweight uh, so it's great to use under makeup and it also instantly plumps up the uh, under eye area because it has hyaluronic acid which deeply hydrates the under eye skin so it makes the makeup application so much more smoother it also helps avoid creasing which is my major concern and like the name suggests it has caffeine hyaluronic acid and vitamin e uh, so the caffeine works really well on uh, the dark circles and the vitamin e deeply nourishes the skin and the hyaluronic acid instantly plumps and makes sure that your under eye skin is always hydrated and you look awake and fresh it's a wonderful product and it has great long-term use benefits with regular use you'll definitely see a difference in your uh, in the appearance of your fine lines and dark circles and the best part is that it's sulfate free paraben free mineral oil free fragrance free and cruelty free and it retails for rupees 375 uh, so it's really affordable you guys should definitely check out this product you can find the shopping link in the description box below so make sure that you check that out and now we will move on to the application this is so relaxing and it just instantly refreshes me moving on to the next step i'm going to moisturize my face and i'm just using a light moisturizer done with the skincare now I'm gonna move on to uh, makeup and for that I'm going to use a primer first um, I would either use a pore filling primer which I'm using right now or I would use an oil-based primer 
uh, but today my pores feel really enlarged so i'm going to stick to a pore filling primer and ditch the um, oil primer but it's really great if you want a dewy look which i prefer so like you can probably tell my face has instantly mattified uh, with the use of this primer so i prefer a dewy look so for that i am going to use illuminating cream you can use any one but i am using one from glam glow this just instantly adds some shine back to your face and it's great for uh, a dewy base sometimes i would use it under my foundation and other times i would just mix it uh, directly with the foundation and apply it on my face so for the foundation i usually use a light coverage foundation or just a bb cream or a cc cream or uh, a tinted moisturizer uh, because i don't want to make it too heavy something that's breathable on the skin i'm going to blend it out with a brush first and then uh, blend all the harsh lines using a beauty blender now i'm gonna do my brows which is my favorite part of the makeup routine because i just feel that it instantly transforms your whole face but i'm not gonna go crazy with my brows but just some light filling in with a brow pencil and then just setting it with a brow soap i've sort of done this brow not completely done with it but it's almost done uh, but look at the difference this part of my face looks so much more um i don't know sharper or much more awake and this part of it still looks very drowsy and sleepy so now i'm just using this brow soap and i'll just brush my brows in an upward direction just to make them more fluffy and it also looks more natural and we are aiming for a natural look okay so now just to clean this up a little bit i am just going to put some concealer under my brows i would sometimes skip this step but uh, the brows are a little messy today so just for a more sharper and cleaner look i'm just going to add a little bit of concealer on both sides and blend it with a brush i know i've already mentioned this but i just love how brows instantly pick the whole face up i didn't do this every day but today i'm gonna add some concealer under my eyes the concealer is gliding on so smoothly because the skin is plump and there are less fine lines so much more better uh, now we're gonna move on to bronzer to just add some warmth on the face with the same brush that i used bronzer with i'm just going to you know uh, dab it on my cheeks a little bit just to add a little color okay, time for highlighter i'm not going to go crazy but just a little bit here and there so this is the brush that i use for my translucent powder for whenever i need to do some setting or baking but today we don't need that because it's not heavy makeup at all but i'm going to use the same brush to just you know blend everything together so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to um, run it all over my face so that everything gets blended together and it's mainly for the highlighter so that the highlighter gets diffused a little bit um, and it doesn't look as heavy I love how everything just completely blended together and I also loved how my brows turned out to be today because honestly it's a struggle every single day because I've stopped you know getting them done I don't get them threaded and I don't pluck them either they tend to look really messy sometimes but I'm glad that I was able to tame them properly today uh, now moving on to the lips so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line the lips and I'm just going to use a um, lightly tinted gloss over it and that's it
it's just an almost clear um, lip gloss doesn't add too much color so it doesn't look, look overboard but gives a very natural finish the last step of the makeup is eyelashes i didn't do anything else to my eyes no eyeshadow no eyeliner no kajal just uh, mascara and that's it Okay guys, so this is my finished makeup look. This is pretty much how I look every single day. It's a very natural, subtle, no makeup, makeup kind of look. And I absolutely love it. Especially on camera, it doesn't look like you've put in too much efforts. It's a very effortless look. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave your precious comments in the comment section below. And also subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is mentioned right here. I'll see you next time. Bye.